amperage or amps are a foundational units in electricity. The concept is abbreviated with an uppercase capital A. You can see 0.2 A on this engraver. A stands for amps, but nobody says 0.2 A, everybody just says 0.2 amps. Amps are named after a brilliant French scientist, André Marie Ampère, who lived in the there in the 18th century and a little bit in the 19th. So, lived 60 years, 61. Okay. Now, an amperage, and I'm going to use this molecule here, has to do with electrons and metals. Let me just put you on the tripod here. Okay, first off. Oops, this way. There we go. Okay. Metals at room temperature are solid. Except mercury, but just work with me on this one. This is a molecular structure here, students built. This is a face-centered cubic molecular structure of a metal. The atoms are at the corners and in the middle these white styrofoam balls are the atoms in this structure and in solids they stay stationary, they do vibrate but they stay stationary at fixed points on uh, a crystal lattice for example face centered cubic like this there are other crystal arrangements as well an electron and I, I really to be proportional to size I would need a speck of dust not to be an electron but this is gonna be now my electron okay an electron or all electrons orbit the atoms that are in the metals the atoms don't move but the electrons do move and the electrons conduct the electricity the electrons that belong to this atom here on the corner can be forcibly moved over to belong to the atom in the middle, can be forcibly moved to belong to the atom at the corner, and eventually electrons, just like this, make it through the lattice and keep jumping from atom to atom to atom, and they conduct electricity. All right, that's how the electrons move. Okay, what that has to do with amperes? An ampere is a head count of electrons moving through these crystal lattices because the electrons carry the electricity so here is a stretch of wire and these electrons travel in one direction this way in it all right now electrons are not counted one by one but but the concept of an ampere or an amp is based on this head count of moving electrons that are forced by the electromotive force forced to jump from atom to atom to atom so they are not counted one by one they are counted in bunches and when you have a bunch of them say this box kind of fits it I'm just going to throw everything in there there this unit of this unit contains, if this was filled with, with those tyrofoam uh, electrons, then there would be a couple hundred electrons in this box. One unit for counting electrons is Coulomb, named after Monsieur Coulomb. Uh, yeah, English-speaking people did not invent math and physics entirely, so uh, welcome to the French contribution. One Coulomb of electrons is a number. It's a huge number. It doesn't have a name it's 6 times 10 to the power of 18 but it's 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18 it's a huge number numbers are named you have your your uh, hundreds and thousands and millions and billions and trillions and after that numbers are not really named and trillions have nine zeros or uh, well depending on uh, which system you're using and which country you're watching this uh, there is uh, the uh, short scale and the long scale system Sure. And uh, so there are number as, numbers as well, as, uh, millions and milliards, billions and billiards, trillions and trillions. So 
Okay, depending on what system you're using, uh, trillions may have may have nine zeros, but one coulomb of electrons, the whole unit would be one coulomb of electrons. They have eighteen zeros. Okay, eighteen zeros, baby. All right, times six point two four plus change. There are more decimal digits, but that would be the idea. It's a huge load of electrons, a huge number of electrons. All right. Now, back to the amps. So, these coulombs are moving down the conductor. Now, we're going to look at the street here. On this street here, let's pick a reference point. How about the palm tree? Oh, it's miserable and rainy today out there. We're going to pick this palm tree on the right. Okay? You can see the cars are moving through or, or moving along the road. If we count the number of cars passing through just in one direction, okay, so we're just going, we're just going to do it from left to right, okay, so forget the traffic growing uh, that way in the other lane, we're just going to count the cars this way. So, okay, there's a cube van, okay, they got a red light. So maybe we would come to a head count of cars that in a minute there are maybe 18 cars passing through this intersection here, or maybe 24 cars, or maybe 26 cars in a minute. So, if we have say 26 cars, if we have exactly 30 cars a minute, that means that every second half a car passes, okay? 20, uh, sorry, 30 cars a minute means that it's 0 0.5 cars a second. Alright? So, an, an amp means or 0 0.2, 0 0.2 amps mean that 0 0.2 coulombs pass through the wire of this engraver every second. 0 0.2 coulombs. If this was one amp, that, that would mean that one coulomb, come back to the, whoop, come back to the box there, that one coulomb, 6.24 times 10 to the power of 18, electrons, one coulomb of electrons would pass through this wire in one minute, that's one amp. If it's 0 0.2 amps, so that's 0 0.2, a fifth of this box, a fifth of a coulomb of electrons are passing through every second in this cross section of wire when you see the electrons moving, when you see these electrons moving down the line all the way into the engraver. All right. So that's the concept of an amp. That's what it means. It's a head count of electrons over some time, and it's counted in big chunk of units named coulombs.